hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is the walking J and my name is JV and I hope you're doing a good weekend right now so last week I briefly summarized and shared to you on how we migrated to Canada in this video I'm gonna share to you about our life transition from Philippines to Canada therefore this would cover our first six months in this new cold place for, with having new faces around and different culture how did we find our first jobs and why did we choose Regina to be our place in Canada and most importantly find out what you can learn from this experience especially if your family is planning to migrate to Canada soon so for our preparation let me start with the month before leaving the Philippines we have that clue that our visas are already approved it's because after the medical request process the next one is the passport request for visa stamping so after we receive the passport request right away we inform our families friends and co-workers as we are targeting to migrate to canada as soon as possible since we're going to quit our job already in the philippines and we have ongoing bills to pay by the way, you wouldn't need to be worried about what you're going to do when the time comes. Once your visa application is approved, it will be forwarded to the organizations in your country that will help you with transitions to Canada. So in our time, we have attended Canada Career Advisory, Canada Orientation Abroad, and the Philippine Orientation for Outgoing Immigrants to clear your gray areas. So we book our flight a week before our departure so that was expensive such as 1500 canadian dollars for the both of us in flying to canada the day before we left manila that was one of the most hustle days in our lives i know that we have a lot of luggages and this uber black cancelled our booking when he saw our luggages because of that we hardly find another black uber that will accommodate us but no to avail so we rushed to catch our flight and thanks very much to my sister she has no choice but to volunteer to drop us off in the airport even she's really busy at her work at that time on our way to airport I saw this sign sorry for the inconvenience with the wrong spelling from Manila we took three hour flight to Korea and we had a stopover for two hours there then another 12 hours flight going to Vancouver so that was another stopover for six hours then a three hour domestic flight to our final destination which is Regina. Once you landed in Canada and before going to your destination province, you need to have a time allowance for the immigration examination and interview as that will take time especially if there's a lineup. In our flight, we had six hours times allowance in Vancouver and it was not busy at the time so it only took less than one hour to receive our permanent resident status by the way before you depart the philippines it is recommended that you have an address ready in canada because this will be asked in immigration examination and this is where your permanent resident card will be mailed to you we went outside the airport in vancouver to see what our new place looks like a few hours after we are set to our new home city regina so regina is the capital of saskatchewan this is the province in the middle of the prairie region of Canada. It can get up to minus 40 degrees Celsius during the cold winter months. In the summer, it can go up to 35 degrees Celsius. We choose Regina as this is where our friend live and work and since my wife can be referred to her job. In our first two nights in Regina, we have been accommodated by my wife's friend who encouraged us to go to Canada. We are really thankful for their hospitality as well as their full support for our transition to Canada. The next business day, we had to go to federal and provincial government offices to register ourselves in their system, specifically to get the social insurance number where in the Philippines, this is equivalent to tax identification number and as well as the SSS of the government. Also, we need to get the provincial ID and our health card. Our friends toured us around the city. As soon as we are settled in with our identifications, they drop us off to our 
first official address in Canada. So we rented a basement of the house for 600 Canadian dollars per month. During the first month, after our first week in Canada, my wife was able to get her work as a phlebotomist, which is aligned to her career as she was referred by our friend. In Canada, employees referral is one way to get a job right away as they trust what the employees refer and to save time for looking for the right candidate. It was our plan that since she has worked right away, I can take time to find a job that it is lined in my career as well, which is in the line of financial or accounting. We bought a used SUV car for 3500 to support our transportation since the bus in Regina only stops for every 30 minutes. I tutored my wife in driving the car in Canada so that she will be independent on her way to work. It's our second month already and I don't have a job yet nor even invitation for interview. I kept on researching on how to get a job in Canada. Since Regina is not a financial district of this Canada, it was really hard for me to get a job. Canadian job experience is very important in finding a job in Canada, no matter what job it is. So one of the tips that I got was to volunteer to any non-profit organization to get a Canadian experience. So I volunteered as a dog walker in a Regina Humane Society where you walk all the orphan dogs while they are waiting for their new home. I applied continuously, this time to any of the jobs, survival jobs. Even a cleaning service will do rather than just waiting in vain in our rented basement. And that was me walking towards our home after attending a cleaning service interview. In our third month, so I got accepted in a cleaning um, service and I worked there for one day and I quit right away because the Walmart opportunity came in. I work as a cashier there since I don't have any other jobs, they gave me a full-time hours. Good benefits and that job trained me on how to have small talks with Canadians. I think in my first day I haven't communicated with anyone because I fear to speak English with the English people. Like I'm afraid if they couldn't understand me and then if they tell me something I wouldn't understand them so that was... That was challenging because we are not used to the accent. I met a lot of friends in Walmart and Walmart is just like a university that you meet a lot of people that has the same pathway with you. The good thing about Walmart, you can work with or without experience. Since my wife and I only have one car by that time, I had to buy a used bike and use it as my service going to work. In Canada, if you have a valid driver's license from your home country that is applicable to Canada, you can drive in Canada for a maximum of three months. Before that expires, you need to get a provincial driver's license. Practical test is one of the hardest tests to pass. Just a little error will require you to restart the test after two weeks. I passed the test on my third attempt. In our fourth month, since both of us are already working and the weather is getting colder and colder already, my wife is now qualified to buy a new car after she worked for three months. In Canada, as long as you've been employed for three months and your cash flow is good, you can now get a car. I heard a lot of horror stories during the winter in Saskatchewan and it says that the best car during the winter is all-wheel drive. The province of Saskatchewan is one of the lowest registration costs for car. So actually everyone here, as long as you're working, you have a car. While we have our full-time job, both of us are kept looking to upgrade our job. For me, I don't mind any jobs now, as long as it will get me a significant increase to my pay. Fortunately, both of us got a better job pay. She got the lab assistant job and I got the mailman job. In our fifth month, this was in November, and since we are in the Prairie region of Canada, the winter actually starts early. So we get snow by the late October. No matter how hard the weather is, I just keep on accepting calls. And lastly, in our sixth month, our financial health is getting stable and stable. Our living cost is really low because we are just renting in the basement. I kept my work as a cashier to Walmart and same as my wife, she kept her first job as her second job now. So both of us work in the weekend and sometimes two jobs for me during the weekdays. 
also we feel that if you want to have a salary of a manager right away then you just take it two jobs in a day so that was our first six months in Canada and in this year this is our fifth year in Canada having to compare this first six months and first five years is a really way big difference by next week I wanted to share with you what we have accomplished and what we should have done if only we could turn back time I really hope you learned something from this video I was not expecting this to see 90 subscribers in just three videos so thanks again guys for watching this video and I really hope to see you again next week. See you!